to start off by saying congratulations on the album. I've had a chance to sit down and and listen to this album, and it's an amazing album. So congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, appreciating our work. So tell us a little bit about the band, because for a lot of people who listen to this show over the the last year or so, they've been introduced to your music with some of the singles, but tell us a little bit about the history of the band. Okay, actually, uh, the, uh, this band, Polymerase, started, I think, around uh, 2014 with my brother. Uh, I think that was, uh, I don't know what month, but uh, at that year, uh, me and my brother were, tra- were trying to create, like, uh, like not really, like, not not yet like a stoner outfit but more into like inclination to doom outfit like uh we tried doing a guitar riff like similar to uncle acid in the dead bits way back then and also i actually i have made this uh, riff that was inspired by tool that we actually that we tried to record in my uh, computer but eventually but uh, but it got uh, destroyed because i don't know something happened with my computer and uh, it got corrupted so that was then and uh, after that i got busy with my uh, actually way back then i was still in med school and uh, i got busy with uh, with school and uh, my brother was also uh, i think he's preparing for his uh, work in uh, in a shipping company and after that uh, after, by 2020 and uh, we tried to uh, he contacted me through a messenger and he said that since since it's a pandemic, why not uh, try to uh, to uh, recreate the band again? And uh, with that, um, during 2020, uh, I started uh, creating Riff, and that was uh, un- 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 unostentatious that uh, happened. With the world in lockdown in 2020, did that make it difficult to restart the band, or did it make it easier because you had time to sit down and work on tracks? Actually, what the, the hard part with that is that uh, way back then, I mean, Eugene is not uh, with the band yet. Actually, he is uh, still, uh, uh, I recruited him during, after we created the Dreams and Reality album. Because uh, during the, the creation of the album, our previous drummer, uh, uh, Ziggy, uh, because he has this other band as well. So he was not to fully commit with the, the band, with the project. So, but but he was able to record, I think, uh, three songs for that album. Um, like again, uh, what the hard part of doing uh, uh, the, the the album by by that year? I think it's because uh, we don't we don't go. Uh, we did not go to uh, to the studio, and uh, it, it, it's different way back then because we have to record. For, for me, I recorded my materials. Uh, in my in my own studio, and then I tried to uh, send it to the to the studio that will uh, mix and edit it. And uh, I think the hard part is that uh, with uh, with sending the files and uh, to really polish it to sound better. Eugene, what was that time like for you as well? Um, being in the band and and um, being in lockdown, what was that time like for you? Uh, I think Gino is uh, in, in a different band back then. Yeah. <laughs> so Eugene, tell us a little bit about you coming into the band as well, and that's what's that been like for you? That is me. I think it's having problems with our connection. Yeah. <laughs> So I'll I'll go on to the, the next question anyway. The, tell us a little bit about this album. Um, this album feels like it takes the audience on a journey when you sit down to listen to it. Tell us a little bit about the songwriting process of this album and what kind of things were inspiring you when you were working on this album. Actually, uh, when I went, when I tried to work on uh, Dreams and Reality album, actually it was a uh, at first. Uh, it should have been like a full album, but unfortunately, because so what, what I've told you regarding Ziggy, our previous drummer, he was only able to record uh, three songs for that album. So uh, I tried uh, 
searching uh, over the internet and I've tried to uh, check for other drummers who can uh, who can do and record uh, my material our, our materials and to actually uh, make the dreams into reality and uh, I think the process took me for I mean more than a year to uh, to really uh, come up with a, with the idea for the for the album and uh, I think that for the first uh, for the first part I think the first track is a uh, Entitled Space Carousel, and the second part is uh, uh, The Sage, and the third is a uh, Blade of the Demon God, and the last track is uh, Evil Hand. I think with that, I think it will take the listeners will take uh, the, uh, I mean the album will take the listeners into like like a journey to to outer space. It's like like for for example for for the album, um, it will tell the story within the, the songs in that album for example because um for for if you listen to the in the first track um it, it will take you in outer uh, in outer space and then after that by traveling uh, the unknown skies um it, it, if you can hear the lyrics with that if you can uh, try to uh to hear it um you the that music will take you into a different areas of the universe. And then after that, uh, the second song or the second part of the track will, uh, will, uh, is, is about, about the sage or it is about an individual who reflects on himself and has more knowledge than every one of us. I think with that, from, from traveling into uh, different parts of the universe, it's like, um, probably like a metaphor yep. for for me or probably for uh for it for the one who's listening to the music and uh once he get to, uh, to see the whole picture but probably just a representation like for example if the universe is like it's like this and the uh, earth is like this and then he will eventually become like like a sage and that, that would be like a, the, the second part and once he get that uh, into a, a really uh, like a self reflection of himself, would be able to uh, grasp some uh, like like he will have like introspection within himself, and after that he will destroy all the demons. That's the, that's why there is a the the, the next uh, track is called the Blade of the Demon God. Although it's like a, how should I say it's like an oxymoron, but not really oxymoron, but um, like it's like. How would you say like a demon, demon god, like a demon and a god, yeah, they mix into one? Like probably it's like more of like a yin and yang, like a concept of yin and yang. Yeah. That uh, once he reflected within himself, he will be able to destroy that. Uh, that um, he has inner demons with a blade of uh, probably blade of knowledge or blade of uh, ideas that he he can uh, he can. Uh, expound on himself and after that uh once he uh got destroyed that the evil hand will uh will s it's like more of like um a process the the song is like more of like a like a how should i say this like uh like it's not really asking for help uh, for uh, for help for uh but he's more like uh saying to himself that I need help, but I will start on myself. I think it's more like a journey of introspection, like for the first part of the album. I think that's what I'm trying to tell yeah. for the first part. This is an album that I, f I feel that a lot of people will listen to it and they'll start to reflect on their own lives or experiences that they've been through. Was this an album where you wanted to make the, the listener sit down and think about their own lives? Yes, I, I guess, and uh, not really like more of, not really think about themselves. as just, just reflect upon upon what what's happening. Because I don't know, probably, uh, because of the pandemic. Also, there's a, uh, I had like like a little bit thinking of, well, within myself. Definitely. Now. The big question that a lot of people are going to ask is, where to now for the band? With the album coming out for people to listen to, what's your hopes for the rest of this year with the band? Will you look to tour or anything like that as well? Actually, 
actually we are trying to organize a little bit of uh, like a small leg tour here here in the Philippines but still in the process but uh, if ever because uh, probably by by the second part of this year probably I'll be in the states and probably I'll try to contact other uh, artists as well there and probably we'll take the next step uh, over there if uh, if if everything goes well Awesome. Well, we are going to play Space Carousel on our show right now. So I guess to finish off the interview, what would you like to say to everybody out there, not only before they take a listen to Space Carousel, but before they go out and listen to the album as well? Um, just if you like the song, check it, check it out from, uh, from Electric Talent Records and uh, Sleep Trick Records, or if you're from the Philippines, you can check it in uh, Bear Dance Records, and you can buy it as well there. And hopefully, you can uh, you will enjoy our music, and you can uh, if you enjoy it, hopefully you can share it with your friends as well. <laughs> 